Hey, big head. Aww. Such a sweet boy. Such a sweet boy. It is Saturday evening and I just picked up my mom. I'm just waiting for her to come to the car. We are surprising my sister and her fiance. We are going out for dinner and then we bought tickets to go see a play in town called Legends of Memphis. So it is all about Johnny Cash and Elvis Presley. And my sister is obsessed with Johnny Cash. She always has been. We are just about to go and surprise them. <laughs> I wanted to tell you what happened to Gabby and I. We were driving down in the country. It was probably about 9.30 at night. I had my high beams on because there was nobody around. And right sitting in my lane was this really big, fat skunk. I slammed on my brakes and he kind of froze. So I let off my brakes and just kind of coasted over top of him. I did not hit him. I think if I would have hit him, I probably would never drive again. Anyway, I coasted right over top of him, but I was going slow enough that he actually sprayed my car. So about five minutes later, Gabby and I were 
being choked out from the smell. It was so strong. You could smell it inside the car really bad. When you get out, you can smell it even worse. I have a couple of different essential oils going in my car diffuser, so hopefully that will help to pull the smell out because it is bad. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that I had mentioned in my first video. I said that Brent and I were, oh, okay, it's kind of sorbent. Anyway, sorry, I mentioned that Brent and I were working on building a home. A couple of years ago, we purchased a piece of property in the country. Um, it's a little less than three acres, so it is a beautiful piece of property. It has a pond already, which is really, really nice. I think we're gonna do some really cool stuff with the pond. When we bought this property, we decided that it would probably be about a seven to 10 year plan for us to start building. But as we were looking for homes to buy in the small town that we live in, we realized that the market is super competitive and if we were just to spend a little bit more money, we could build exactly what we wanted. Plus, we know that this is our forever home and we will never be leaving. Because our property is kind of this awkward triangle shape, there's an old set of tracks that runs through. Um, we thought maybe a prefab home would be a great way to go because you get everything included. You can go and walk through the model homes and see exactly what you're going to get. As we were looking through these prefab homes and talking to a diff couple different companies, we realized there is a ton of hidden costs. So what we ended up doing was taking some blueprints of some prefab homes that we walked through and actually giving them to one of our family friends that is an architect. And he went ahead and made up a blueprint for us of kind of the layout that he can tell that we want. One of the girls that I used to work with, her husband is actually a contractor and a framer. So I think what we're going to do is take our blueprints to him and see if he can kind of give us an idea of um, what kind of price we're looking at. I imagine we will probably end up talking to just a couple different contractors to figure out what our price is going to be like. We don't necessarily want to go the cheapest route because cheapest is not always best. Actually, it probably most of the time is not best, but that is kind of where we're at with the home building process. I will 100% keep you updated as we go along. I'm thinking we will really start to get some meetings going within a couple weeks. Our hope originally was that we would be able to start building this spring, but as spring has come upon us, hopefully, oh my. Okay, so that was kind of crazy. My phone jumped right off of my windshield. Anyway, like I said, I will definitely be keeping you updated on the process as we go. To be honest, I don't even really know what this vlog was about. I chatted a lot, probably too much. Hopefully next week there is some exciting stuff going on. As always, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. If you enjoyed watching, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe. I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!